Hi kids, welcome back to part three of seeds. Remember seeds? C in Korean, seeds. Seeds grow into new plants. Now in part one and part two, we talked about how seeds travel. Seeds actually travel to different places. In part one, we learned that seeds travel with the wind, right? In part two, we learned that seeds travel with birds, animals, and water. But what about people? Do people travel with seeds? Do people move seeds from one place to another? Sure they do. Let's take a look here. What are these people doing? There's a bunch of children here. And what are they doing? What is this here? They have a tool for digging in the ground. And they have something in their hands. They're dropping into the ground. Those things are seeds. So people also move seeds. Let's read together. People spread seeds too. They eat fruit and throw away the seeds. Do you like apples? Of course you like apples. Sometimes you have a whole apple and you eat it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. When you're finished, you have the middle of the apple. What do you do with it? Well, you could throw it in a trash basket or if you're in nature, you can just throw it in the trees. It's okay. It's not really trash or like stregi that you have to throw away in a special place. The apples, no problem. Throw it away. The seeds inside the middle might grow into a new tree. So people eat fruit and throw away the seeds. They plant seeds in their gardens. Another way, do you have a garden? Maybe not. It's a little hard to have a garden here. We need a lot of land. But some people do have gardens and they plant seeds in those gardens. They go to new places and take seeds with them. So if I move from one city to another city, Maybe I'll take the seeds from my garden and plant a new garden in the new city. So they take their seeds with them. Did you know peas are seeds? Pea, yogi sale. Pea, do you like peas? Peas choyo, mashi soyo? A lot of kids, sometimes kids don't like peas, okay? When I was a kid, I didn't like peas, Ugh. especially cooked peas. But fresh peas, that's yeah, okay. They're okay. They are seeds. They grow in a pod. A pod, P-O-D. This is a pod of seeds. You can open it and you see many peas inside. Mm. Right? You can eat them up. Okay? They're good for you. They are seeds. Here are the children planting seeds. And we can see different seeds in fruit. Before, I talked about the apple. In the middle of the apple are the seeds. Do you eat that? No, don't eat it. It's very hard and it doesn't taste good. Throw it away. Maybe new apples will grow. An apple tree will grow. Do you like subak? Subak mashisayo? Yes, subak is great, especially in the summertime. We like subak. It's very delicious. Watermelon. Watermelon has seeds in them. Do you eat the seeds? Many people go, poof, poof, poof. they spit the seeds out. If you, poof, if you spit, Bit the seed on the dirt, maybe it will grow there later on. So people will eat the watermelon and they go poof, 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 
they spit the seeds. Some people eat the seeds. Okay, that's a different way too. And kiwi, are there seeds in the kiwi? Do you see them? Yeah, they're the black, the little black dots, spots here, 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 here. There's many seeds in the kiwi. Do you eat the kiwi seeds? Yes, we eat the kiwi seeds. Do you remember the birds? The birds eat the seeds, they go somewhere else, and they dunghel, they go to the bathroom? Well, same thing with people. A long, long time ago, before we had toilets, people would eat fruit, and then when it's time to go to the bathroom, they go away in the woods, go to the bathroom, and leave. And that is good for the seeds because the dung is very good to grow. It gives the seeds food to grow. So think about that next time you eat fruit. But don't think too much, okay? It's okay. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let, do you know this person? Do you know this man? Did you hear about him before? He's a famous person in American history. A famous person in American history. His name is Johnny Appleseed. More than 200 years ago, long time ago, there lived a man named John Chapman. His real name, Chincha Idum, Chincha Idum is John Chapman. He walked everywhere. He liked to walk. Oh, joy, oh, I like to see new places. And he walked many places. He walked everywhere. And he planted apple seeds. When he walked to a new place, he would plant apple seeds on his trip. Children called him Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed is not his real name. John Chapman is his real name. But Johnny Appleseed is his nickname. Nickname. Okay, so he has a nickname, Johnny Appleseed. Johnny was a little strange. 이상한, 조금 이상한 사람. Because he never wore shoes, right? 구두 없어요. He's walking just in his feet. And that's, you know, that's okay. 200 years ago, not everybody had shoes. But also Johnny did something 조금 더 이상해요. He wore a pot for a hat. Huh? Your mother cooks with a pot, right? She puts water and something inside on the stove. She cooks it. Well, Johnny Appleseed used the pot for his hat. So, yeah, he was chokumi sangheo. Anyway, he walked a lot. He, many people saw him. They thought he's a little strange, but he planted apple trees in many places. Where did he go? This is a map of America. These are the states. States where Johnny planted apple seed. State. It's like Gyeonggi-do, Cheongwon-do, uh, or Gyeonggi, uh, Gyeongbuk-nam. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember all the states in Korea, uh, but they're different states or provinces. Many states in America. For example, uh, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. 200 years ago, most people lived here uh, most Europeans lived here in America. And Johnny Appleseed traveled a lot. This is a lot for 200 years ago. And everywhere he went, he planted apple seeds. And he made many apple trees. This is Johnny Appleseed. What does he... What, do you see the pot? The pot is here. <laughs> the pot is on his head. No shoes. He's... He doesn't have any shoes. And what is this? He has a tool for farming. It's called a rake. 
a rake. And he's planting apple trees. These are apple trees in the background. So Johnny shared with other people everything he had. He was very generous. He gave things that he had with, uh, to other people. If he has a lot of food, he will give some to other people. He shares. That's good. Thanks to Johnny's apple seeds, the Midwest is now full of apple trees. The Midwest? The Midwest are the middle states like uh, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana. There are the middle states between the East Coast and the West Coast of America. Okay? Uh, so the Midwest has many apple trees. Thank you, Johnny Appleseed. Thanks to him. Thanks to Johnny's apple seeds, there are many apple trees in the Midwest. That's very good. Okay, do you want to do something fun? Do you want to do a good activity? You can grow your name using seeds. What do you need? Okay, how, by the way, grow your name. How? Do you see this girl here? Do you know her name? Her name is Tia. And look, she grew her name using seeds. She will grow her name and plants will grow in the shape of her name. That's pretty cool. Do you want to do that? Well, you will need mung bean seeds. Mung bean seeds. Ask your mom to help you get some mung bean seeds. You'll need a dish. You'll need some cotton. And you'll need some water. So, what are the steps? Let's see. Number one, first, line the dish with cotton. So, take the cotton, like the cotton pads. You can go to a yakuk and get some cotton. And put the cotton on the bottom of the dish, all around the dish. Put the cotton there. That's step one. Step two, sprinkle water. Sprinkle means chukum, chukum, chukum. You know, just a little drops here and there. Take the water and sprinkle water on the cotton in the dish. Three, write your name with mung bean seeds. In other words, put the seeds in a line to make your name. And of course, you can use English uh, letters or hangul. It doesn't matter, right? So you can write your name with mung bean seeds. Just make the shape of the letters for your name in English or in Korean. Great. Step four, put the dish in a warm place. Keep the dish in a warm place so it has, it's warm. Not too cold, but nice and warm. Keep the cotton damp. Damp means keep putting some water, sprinkle some water on the cotton. Make sure there's some water so the seeds can grow. Finally, watch what happens. What do you think will happen? Well, what will happen is little seedlings will start to grow and they will be in the shape of your name. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's do that. If you have a chance, if you have time, why don't you give it a try? All right, let's do that. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of chapter three or part three of seeds. We learned a lot about seeds, how they grow, how they are spread, and we also learned a fun activity that we can make plants grow in the shape of our names. Oh, no much as well. Okay, I hope you had fun. I sure did. I'll see you next time. Take care.